Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm excited to be here today. Um, I hope you're all well. Oh, sorry, I didn't even use my manners. Um, I hope everyone's doing really well. I'm excited to be here today to um, share a little tutorial with you. I was talking to my friend Dee um, about Christmas crafting and stuff and she asked if I would do a tutorial for my shaker envelopes because she really wants to pop one in her December daily. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial and then um, she's going to do her take on a shaker envelope but for her December daily. So let me tell you I've already made an envelope base here. Um, I used my 123 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers and I made I want to say by the five by six and a half inch size but now that I'm saying that, I cannot remember. Yes, yeah, so I made the one that was going to fit a five by six and a half inch card in there. So the paper is nine and three eighths of an inch by, and you do the first punch at four and a one eighth of an inch. Um, but you could just use an envelope as a template. Um, you could use a cut file. You could just use an envelope. And when I did this, I missed one of the score lines because I'm going to put a shaker bit in the back and I was just going to do it straight onto here and I didn't want it to have that crease um, and I just did that when I popped it in this isn't going to be very clear but you go around and do each side and you line it up by this wee notch but um, and so for this one I do a notch and then I would usually score all the way along here but I just did a wee score at the end so that when I turned it around, I'd be able to see the score line here so I could punch and score, but I just missed off that top one. If you want me to do a tutorial for that, um, <laughs> I'm happy to do that. So what I did was I did two of them. So I did a test one to see which size, uh, what size I wanted my envelope. And then I just used this scrap paper and I cut the edges off. So I cut these bits and then I just trimmed about just over a quarter of an inch off each side and so I did that I cut this bit off and did a quarter of an inch I didn't worry about this bottom bit because I'm going to cover that up and then I made one for this and so I trimmed the outside so what I was doing was I was making a template to cut panels for each of these outside bits because you could just do it straight on this envelope but I'm using this gorgeous um, the Holidays collection from Simple Stories and I liked two different papers and I also find when I'm doing these envelopes if you have directional paper it never goes you can never do it well I can never do it so it goes the way I want so I just made these templates this back one as you can see I just cut a bit off because there's no point that bit's going to be covered up and then I put some acetate made a sequin mix and I've sewed around the edges and then what I also usually do when I'm making these sequin shakers is I just stitched along here and here um, otherwise all the sequins will fall to the bottom and when this is stuck on here you know you're never going to see that bit and then all your sequins will sit there and it's just such a waste so I'm going to stick these on I'll stick this back one panel on first you could just do them exactly the same size if you wanted to so I've done mine a little bit thinner so that this pretty red, pretty red, I don't really like red, I actually don't mind it, but um, pretty is not quite the right colour word to describe it. I like, I wanted a little bit of this to pop out, to show through, not pop out. Um, so I've left that wee gap, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good so I've got that bit there and then I'm going to do these side panels and when I cut them out I cut one for each side so I you know I traced these onto the paper and did one that way and then one on the mirror image so that the paper would be facing in the right direction that makes sense um, if you were just using an envelope and um, like making a template from an envelope you could just obviously trace around it trim it down a wee bit and it makes this quite easy but I love how this turned out I really love this paper collection I can't wait to use some more of it it's just really bright and fun and I love red and green for Christmas with like pink and I really actually am enjoying that light blue so there is that and we'll put this front panel on 
hope this I've done a little bit of Christmas crafting but not a lot and um I'm probably will have done more by the time this video goes up look at that I just put the stitching detail around the edge I just went around each one twice you don't have to do that that's obviously just personal choice I like the look of the stitched um lines um I'm gonna try using this tape but I don't know if this will be strong enough but we'll start off with this so I'm just putting some double-sided tape um down each of these sides so I can stick that up oh one other thing when you make this um the envelope using the we are memory keepers punch board this will have a point but I just trimmed that off so that's why that's flat across there I just like that look more for excuse me these shaker envelopes um sequin shaker envelopes just think it shows more of the sequins and it's a bit of a cleaner line but that's obviously also like everything just personal choice okay so there we go super easy like people I've seen people put these bits with shakers I just like the back I just I like how that looks I love the vellum sounds so cool but there we go that is your basic tutorial it's very simple um, but I thought seeing as I am doing a tutorial I may as well do some decorating so if anyone knows me I'm very indecisive so I have had a little play around and decided um what I'm gonna put on here but there is some gorgeous bits in this collection I just really really like it um I did get both the ephemera packs but what I thought I would do is when I'm doing these shaker envelopes or any like loaded envelope I love having like a base to sort of build around so I'm going to start with this and I'm just going to stick a couple of bits of this quite strong um tape on here but I want the edges to still have a gap like not be stuck down because I'm going to stick things underneath and I just had to cut all my nails so they're not very good at picking that up so what I'm going to do not very, I'm going to pop this like here I reckon and then I want this to go under there so oh, I don't know I might my like um art glitter glue that I've been using it just won't come out the thing out the little nozzle and I've tried and tried and tried and it I can't clear it out so going back to my Tombow which I really do love I just haven't used it for a while so I thought I'll put that little bit there which I've actually cut off this other side and I was going to think maybe I'll put that sort of like over here or down here but I really really like just this little cluster sort of set up here and I'll get a little bit of tape I'm not very good at these like scissors um tutorials explaining how I do things because one I take a really long time to decide what to do I'm very indecisive and so I feel like I'm you know taking way too long to tell people what I'm doing and then I really like this joy um, which is like green which is quite weird for me but I really like this forest green and I thought that just stood out more than oh but now I'm looking at that I actually really like that maybe I will oh this is when you think oh I wish someone could tell me what I should do no I think I will go with this and I'm going to try this glue that I picked up the other well the other day quite a long time ago from somewhere I can't even remember oh from Gordon Harris which is a, a art supply shop here in New Zealand and I've been using quite a bit of this like adhesive backed foam but it's only adhesive on one side and I struggle with what to stick it down with and I saw this was like foam glue for foam so I thought I'll give that a try so we'll see how that works out look at that that looks pretty cute and then I feel like we could put something like that there 
maybe like a sticker or something anyway i feel like i need a little a little extra so i've got everything i brought so many things from this collection i brought this while i was in lockdown so i may have gone a little bit overboard but that's okay um what do i want to put there like a little something i don't know oh maybe a little puppy sounds like there's a motorbike outside my house That's quite cute. Oh, let me just kind of, oh yeah. Just be hanging there. Does that need something to hang off? See, this is why I don't really film like real time tutorials because I very much overthink things. Let's just go like that. Sorry, I've got a sniffly nose. I feel like maybe we'll go like this and then like this. Okay. I was going to put that somewhere because I've got the snowflakes in the back, but let's just... I'm so simple, like my everything I make, I just look at some people's and they're so amazing and detailed and I'm just not that way made. But I love that. See, I think that is really cute and I am really happy with that. If I had got the enamel dots, I probably would go for a few enamel dots, but I did not, but I do have my these gorgeous um rosy studio bows and bells ones which i mean pretty good mix of colors we could just go like this and then like a little pink one perfect so so perfect those colors and then i made a few little goodies to go in there um i got these frames and i got really excited when i saw them and i was like oh, they'll be really cool like as a base but they're quite big and I don't really do any like memory keeping that would need a frame like that. So I thought this would make a really cute shaker little um, frame, you know, just and then my pen pal can use that on something. And it's just really cute. And I love that little bear. He's so sweet. Then I um, just decorated this little vellum, mini vellum envelope. I popped some of the cutter parts in there. And then just decorated the front with some stickers and a little puppy sticker. And I thought that would be really cute. And then somewhere I just cut one of the like bigger cutter parts from the collection in there. So, I mean, this isn't finished. I would definitely put more goodies in there. But I just wanted to show you that you can stuff that full of goodies or photos or memories. Um, and it's just a really simple way of packaging some goodies but just making a little bit extra so i hope you enjoyed this really simple tutorial about how i make these shaker envelopes um like loaded shaker envelopes and um, make sure you head over to d's channel i'll link it down below and see what she made with her um december daily i cannot wait i hope um you've enjoyed this and if you have any questions then feel free to ask thanks for watching guys see you later bye